Cheese. Hey guys, it's Rimiro and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna teach you how to tune the chord into G C E A and F sharp B E flat G sharp with your tuner machine. Because a lot of people asking me that how do I tune my chord into this chord with my tuner machine. So yeah, I decided to make this video. So let's get started, shall we? Yeah. Shoo again. Okay, before I start, I'm gonna talk about this on the condition that you have already your own tuner machine. If you still don't have your own tuner machine, I'm gonna recommend you to have this type of tuner machine. It's from the called AW2. You can buy this at the online shop like Amazon or you can just go straight to the music store and buy this. I really recommend you to buy this because it's really convenient and really lighter and smaller than the usual tuner machine. And also a good thing about this type of tuner machine is that you can put this on your ukulele all the time. Yeah, so you'll never lose it unless you take it off on somewhere and put it on somewhere. Now let's practice how to tune the chord. Step 1. Turn on your tuner machine. Like this. Can you see this? So once you turn on the tuner machine, you'll see the needles on the left of the screen in here. Uh, but it's moving right now because I'm talking. Yeah, but basically you see the needles on the left of the screen. If this strings, no, if this needle goes to the middle of the screen, that means you turn the chord into the right sound. But if you go over the right in here, that means you turn the chord into too much higher than the normal key. So once you know that, adjust the key by by moving the pedal in here. And if this needle still stay in the left side of the screen, that means you tune the chord into too lower than the average sound of the key. So let's start practice how to tune the chord. Basically, ukulele has the four strings, you know, right? Um, the first string is going to be G, and the second one is going to be C, third one E. The last string is going to be A. So I'm gonna start off from the G chord. So this is the sound of G. Let's tune the chord into this sound. Let's do it. So now you see the screen that it says is too low and too far away from the G because it. I see the sign of F sharp. So I must tighten up the strings by moving to the counterclockwise. Now I see the sign that it says almost G. I need to adjust more. It's almost G. Now I see the needles on the middle of the screen, so that means I tune the chord into the right sound of the G chord. Yeah. Okay. Then let's move on to the next strings, which is C, second one. And this is the sound of C. C. It sounds kind of lower than the original sound. Just be. so that mean, and it says it's not a C. It shows that it's the sound of B. So I need to tighten up the strings again by moving to the counterclockwise again. C until you see the sign of C. Did you see it? Yeah, it's C. But, but it's too high, I guess. Yeah, because the needle is moving over to the right one. Yeah, so I have to move the pedal on the clockwise. Of E. 
just trying to memorize what the sound of the E you have to adjust for the E strings so in my tuner machine it says E flat so I must go up I'm gonna move this pedal on and clockwise to tighten up the strings yeah it's E and I'm in the middle already alright I got an E so the last chord A. This is the sound of A. It says G on my clue, so I have to go up because this sound is kind of lower than the sound that I just hear. Okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead to move this pedal to the clockwise so I can get the A Yeah, I got an A right now Now I got the needles on the middle on the screen play the song okay next one let's practice how to tune the chord into F sharp B E flat G sharp so in this case the top string is going to be F sharp and the second one is going to be B and third one is going to be E flat and the last one is going to be G sharp so the F sharp sound is going to be like this Right now, I have the sound of G because I just tuned the chord into G C E A. I have G in the first string, so now I'm gonna adjust it. F sharp is actually lower than the G chord, so I'm gonna move this pedal on clockwise so I can lose the strings. Until I get F sharp, I'm not gonna stop moving the pedal. Oh, is it? No. So I need to go up again. Counterclockwise. F sharp, yeah, F sharp. Yeah, I got the middle. Okay. Okay, I got it. Next chord, which is B. So the B sounds like this. Right now I have C on the second string, so it should be B, so I'm gonna go down because B is lower than C chord, so I'm gonna move this pedal on the clockwise. This is the sound of E flat. Right now I have E's and I need the E flat, so which means I need to make it more lower than E. Okay, so I'm gonna move this pedal onto counterclockwise so I can get the lower key. G sharp 
this is the sound of G-sharp, finally. Right now, I have what A, so I'm gonna go down from this chord. So I'm gonna use, I'm gonna move this pedal on uh, counterclockwise, or so make it more lower than A, then find the G sharp. Oh yeah, shower. Oh no no no, wait. Oh, kita kita. Yeah, it's G sharp, and it says it's too high because it's right over to the right. So I'm gonna move it to the clockwise, so I can make it more lower. Oh no, it's too low. I'm gonna counterclockwise. Yeah, it's almost middle, so I'm gonna take this as a correct sound. <laughs> understand how to tune the chord and I hope this video will help you in some way and yeah thank you so much for watching this video see you next time bye bye